Hallelujah. Are you excited to be in church? I'm just super excited. God is good. Let's dive into it. Manifestation of the sons of God, part four. Romans 8, 19, anchor scripture, the earnest expectation of creature, the wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. Somebody shout, I will manifest. And we establish in the first service for you to manifest, you must grow up. Hebrew 5, verse 12. When you ought to be teachers, you are being taught. You are supposed to be the teacher, but you are sitting down as a student. You need that one teach you again the first principle of the oracle of God. You need milk when you're supposed to be eating strong meat. Why? Because this person will not mature. If you don't grow, you will groan. Those who will not grow will groan. That's why many are in pain. They are in pain because they will not grow up. The month of manifestation is the month of spiritual maturity. If you must manifest, then you must grow up. Capacity will determine content. If the capacity is small, then there's nothing for you to carry. I demonstrated that during the Shiloh hour. I was holding the anointing oil bottle, which is about 200 ml. And God wants to bless you with a thousand liter. The problem is not with the blessing. The problem is with the capacity. There is no capacity to carry the blessing. Capacity will determine the content. God wants to bless you with ocean. You are going there with 50 CL bottle. The ocean is there, but you don't have capacity to receive. That's what spiritual maturity is. And in this second service, I'm going to start an interesting journey of how to grow up. How to manifest. So, manifestation is enlarged spiritual capacity. That is the platform for manifestation. The child grew and wax strong in the spirit. That's the capacity. The strength of the spirit. One popular prayer in Ireland Church is Ephesians 3.16. To be strengthened with might and power by his spirit in our inner man. Capacity. Strengthened by his spirit in our spirit man. We increase in our capacity to be able to take the challenge that is ahead. We won't start a month without praying this scripture in uh, Chilo Altar. It is a constant. Lord, strengthen me with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. Lord, strengthen me with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. Lord, strengthen me with might and power. It is a scripture that is registered in my spirit. I pray it in my sleep. I pray it physically. To be strengthened with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. This is one prayer you cannot over pray and you can't pray amiss. Lord, strengthen me with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. You want to pray that for yourself right now? Strengthen me with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. Strengthen me with what? Go back to that scripture. The word might as used in this scripture is dunamis. Dynamic power to cause changes. 
So when you say strengthen me with might, Lord, strengthen me with dynamic power to cause changes. Strengthen me with miracle working ability. Power to effect changes. Strengthen me with dynamic ability. Power to cause changes. Strengthen me with, with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. Strengthen me with might and power by your spirit in my inner man. Energize me. So how to grow up or how to manifest. Let's go back to our text, Romans 8. Romans 8, we read 19. And, but you see, this second service is going to be a Bible study. So um, any scripture we read, studio, get ready for three translations. Amplified classic um, good news Bible or good news translation, that's GNB or GNT. Then you look for TLB, the Living Bible Translation. I will lead those three. So we're doing Bible study in the second service. Romans 8 19, if we need to do Bible study, you need to go back. How did we get to manifestation? So for the purpose of this service and the number one is a journey we are starting now. This month will be a kind of a school of the spirit for people who want to grow because we have established that manifestation is based on capacity, spiritual capacity. The strength of your spirit man determines your level of manifestation. If the spirit man is weak, you can't manifest anything. Romans 8, 19. So let's go from verse 8 of the same Romans chapter 8. Let's see the contents that took us uh, into verse 19 of the scripture. Romans 8. Go back to verse 8 of the same scripture. And this is where I would need all the translation I told you about. Studio so get said. He said, so then... They that are in the flesh cannot please God. If you can't please God, how can you manifest? Don't forget, Romans 8, 19 says, the endless expectation of the creature, they wait for manifestation of the sons of God. Verse 14 tells us, qualification of a son for as many as are led by the spirit who are they? They are the sons of God. Then the world is waiting for the manifestation of son. But the sons must be led by the spirit. Capital S, the Holy Spirit. Go to that verse 8. Verse 8 says, if you live in the flesh, go to verse 8, Romans 8, 8, if they that live in the flesh cannot please God, then go into nine. He said, but you are not in the flesh. That's what took us to 14. You are in the spirit. If so be that you, the spirit of God dwells in you, now if any man hath not the spirit of Christ is none of his. Can we read Amplified of 8 and 9? 8 and 9. 8. So then, those who, live, who are living the life of the flesh, catering to the appetite and the impulse of their carnal nature, cannot please or satisfy God or be acceptable to Him. Verse 9. But you are not living the life of the flesh. You are living the life of the spirit and more or less just explaining the same thing we said before. Can I see good news of this scripture, 8 and 9? Good news. Good news. Um, you don't have good news? You, you have only TLB? Let's see TLB. That's why those who are still under the control of their old sinful self, bent on following their old evil desire, can never please God. We need good news, so you've got to look for it. Maybe you have to check that on the net or, and, and give me for all the scripture. It will make explanation easy. 
you have to look for GNB or GNT. Now going to verse 9, verse 9 of TLB that is on the screen, verse 9. But you are not like that, meaning you are not in the flesh and you are not controlled by your flesh. You are controlled by the new nature which is the spirit of the living God on the inside of you. Do you have um, good news now? Or anybody in the congregation with good news translation? Yes, ma'am. Can you read good news translation for us? Let's get a microphone for, for Dr. Ayo. Microphone? Yes, ma'am. But you do not live as human. Mm -hmm. Human nature tells you to... to, tells uh, you th to. Th that's the word I'm looking for. You don't live as human nature tells you to live. Yes, go ahead, ma'am. Instead, you live as the spirit tells you to ah. live. In fact, God's spirit lives in you. So, you live by the dictate of the spirit. A spirit control life. We need to look for good news. It will help this our um, teaching in this second service. So, those who live by the flesh, thank you very much, ma, cannot please God. You have to live. No, the microphone will still be with her because until we find the one on the studio, she will continue to read good news. You have a long passage to read today. Praise the Lord. Go to verse 12. Let's read verse 12 now. Verse 12 and 13. Can we have a reader? Verse 12 and 13. Yes. Go ahead, ma. Uh, Romans 8, 12 and 13. Verse 12. Yeah. So then, my friends, mm -hmm. we have an obligation, but it is not to live as our human nature wants us to. For if you live according to your human nature, you are going to die. But if, you, if by the Spirit you put to death your sinful action, you will live. Can Verse I hear amen to that? Amen. So what this scripture is saying to us is that if we are going to manifest, we cannot live by our carnal human nature. So number one, to grow up is righteousness. You must deal with the flesh. Righteousness is number one, put in bracket, deal with the flesh. The carnal man, the flesh, we read in this scripture, cannot please God. Cannot satisfy God. Those who live in the flesh, we read in 12 and 13, will die. In fact, the Bible says, the flesh profit nothing. Only the spirit. What does it give? Life. So if you really want to manifest, you can't afford to manifest the flesh. Only those who live in the spirit will manifest. You know, while we did this Ablaze conference or Ignite conference in London, this was a major interest on day one. And the point I gave here is that you must be born again and remain so. Because there are people with all manner of grace message now. We preach grace. You know there's nothing in Isla Church. There's hour of grace. There's days of grace. There's, um, you know, all manner of grace that we preach in Isla Church. But it's a balanced message here. But there are people who preach grace message and says once you are born again, you are forever born again. What you do does not matter. If I will sing it in a, in a song, Something like Kowobi Moshe. Something like that. Uh-huh. Oshan Taju me Lord. Kowo, 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 Kowo. Oh, would you? Oh, would God. Kowokini. 
you must be born again and remain so. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. If any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away and all things, how many things? All things have become new. You can't be born again and all things will not pass away. You can't do church and be doing club. You go to club on Friday, church on Sunday. Hallelujah. Hey. Then on, on, on Friday. <coughs> We see it on your dance system when you come to church. We see it in church. The hangover on Friday you bring to church on Sunday. <laughs> if any man be in Christ, what happened to him? He said, all things pass away. It has to go. This is the first sign of maturity. You must give up your old life if you must manifest. The first sign of maturity. You kill the flesh. There are certain things you used to do. We must not see you do them. This is this is the song of the redeemed. Some things I used to do, I do them no more. Some places I used to go, I go there no more. Your boyfriend house, stop going. You know, I grew up in a Yoruba church. When I got born again, then I went to another church where they have translator. Every time the pastor talk about boyfriend and girlfriend, I think I've told you the story before. The Yoruba translator is saying, <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> there are things you used to do when you are born again, you can't afford to continue that whole way of life. It's the first sign of maturity. Old tradition old friends must pass away. The flesh must die. Must kill. This flesh profit nothing. It will put you in trouble. The flesh kill it. But the spirit give life. The flesh is a destroyer. It has destroyed many destiny. If I read Galatians chapter 5 16 we we'll read Galatians five sixteen. Studio, can you project? Then we we'll go into different translation. He said, "This I say then, walk in the spirit. If you are going to manifest, you must be a man and a woman of the spirit. Walk in the spirit, then you will not fulfill the desire or the lust of the flesh." Continue. We we'll read seventeen as well. He said, for the flesh lost against the spirit and the spirit lost against the flesh and the two of them are contrary one to another. So you cannot do the things that you should do because these two fight each other. Read good news for us, ma. Then project on the screen for us, TLB. Read good news, ma. 16, 17, Galatians 5. What I say is this. Let the spirit direct your lives and you will not satisfy the desire of human nature. Mm -hmm. 17. For what Stop, are... Stop, ma. Okay. It calls the flesh in this scripture what? Human, human nature. nature. The things you love. Another translation call it carnal nature. Yes, go ahead, ma. 17. For for what our human nature wants is opposed to what the spirit wants. So the human desire, love, crave is opposed to what the Holy Ghost wants for you. Yes, go ahead, ma'am. 
These are two enemies, and this means that you cannot do what you want to do. If the spirit leads you, then you are not subject to the law. Thank you. Project TLB for us, 16 and 17 of this scripture. Galatians 5, 16 and 17. He said, I advise you to obey the Holy Spirit instruction. It will tell you where to go. Will the Holy Ghost tell you to go to club? It will tell you where to go, what to do. Then you won't always be doing the wrong things your evil nature wants you. See the way he defines flesh now. He has called flesh now evil nature. Then verse 17. For we naturally love to do evil things that are opposite from the things that the Holy Spirit tells us to do. And the good things we want to do when the Spirit has its way with us are just opposite our natural desire. These two forces within us are constantly fighting each other to win control over us and our wishes are never free from their pressures. The flesh and the spirit contrary to the other. In fact, Amplify translation, can we see Amplify? Amplify says, uh, he uses a word, um, can I see 17? There's a word I'm looking, yes. He used the word antagonistic. That is a very strong word. Fighting each other to gain control. So if you are going to manifest, flesh must die. Can I hear amen to that? Yeah. Those in the flesh are not manifestable. If you are going to manifest this month, Mr. Flesh must die. Otherwise, as God begins to promote you, you will see flesh singing. We said in the first service, what took Solomon from wife one to 1,000? That thing was there, but the promotion amplified it. Then you will hear statements like they call themselves Christian. You won't disgrace God. Yeah. Because this is the work of the flesh. If you don't deal with Mr. Flesh, if you become a senator, you will steal money. Because that greed is there. But you have not dealt with it. You need to deal with flesh and the manifestation of the flesh. So when we say grow up, we are saying to you, deal with anything that is opposed to what the Holy Spirit wants you to do. In fact, if we read the good news very well, the Holy Spirit should control your life. Read Galatians chapter 5, the whole of Galatians chapter 5 when you get home. And follow what the Spirit is telling you. And tell your flesh, no, I'm not going to, I may give you your desire. No, you are not going to have your way. Because we read in the scripture, TLB, because our flesh, what the flesh wants is evil desire. Going to put us in trouble. The flesh wants you to do things that are not convenient. It's lusting after what you should not lust about. Thinking about what you should not think about. Watching what you should not watch. That's the flesh. Asking for things that he knows that the end is destruction. If, I, if you go back to that Galatians chapter 5, let's jump to verse 19 now. We stop at verse 17, but jump to verse 19. He says, but the works, the products, of the flesh are manifest. You know, we are shouting, I manifest. Now, flesh also say, I manifest. 
This is the product of flesh in manifestation. And these are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness. Have you found good news now? Studio, can I hear something from you? Have you found good news now? Can you just Google it and project it? I need it. Just put that on PowerPoint and project for us. Idol worship are the works of the flesh. Witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy. 21. Let's do one more. These are the product of the flesh. Envying. There are people who can't stand the progress of others. It's a work of the flesh. Murder, including abortion. Drunkenness. It starts with small, small red wine. It's a work of the flesh. If you don't kill it, when God promotes you and bless you with um, digital currency, you will have a bar in your house. Because you have the tendency, you are taking it small, small now. Pastor, I don't take it. It's just that they said that before I take this harp, I must miss gene with the harp and I take it. It will make my body strong. In fact, that people ask me a question, can we be taking palm wine? Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just go, ram, ram me. I won't see you again. You, you are a child of God. You must give up your whole life. Can I hear amen? amen? Go back to that scripture. It talked about drunkenness, revealing. It says, and such like, of which I tell you before, and I have told you in the time past, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, give me um, GNB or GNT as found in Google, uh, if you can project it. Thank you, finally. He said, what human nature does is quite plain or manifest. It shows itself in immoral, filthy, and indecent action, including dressing. In worship of idol, witchcraft, people becoming enemy and they fight. Those who like fighting, you are in the flesh. From today, when they want to fight you, you run. Say, ah, the things I used to do, I do them no more. Say, but pastor, what about Osha? If Osha says, sit down where I should, I don't want to sit down. Give or fight. A child of God should not fight. It's a demonstration of the flesh. What about jealousy? You can't stand someone's testimony. Somebody is giving testimony, you are saying, mm, we don't know what they do. Mm, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And all those who say we don't know, we don't know, they never know. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Can all this testimony be true? They become jealous, hungry, ambitious, separate into parties and group inside church. And for Paul and for Apollos, they are envious. They get drunk. They have huggies. This one is wide, indecent life. And do other things like this in case your own is not mentioned here. <laughs> he said, I warn you now, as I have done before, those who do these things will not possess the kingdom of God. Now, give me TLB. Then we'll do Amplify. 
You know, we are doing Bible study. Give me TLB of the same scripture. He said, but when you follow your own wrong inclination, your lives will produce this evil result, impure thought, eagerness for lustful pleasure, idol worship, idolatry, spiritism. This is encouraging the activity of demons like watching pornography. When you watch other people having sex in your living room, you have invited demon into your house. You have encouraged the activity of demonic powers in your house, whether you are married or unmarried. Because this thing is supposed to be for married people and it should be private. Not for you to watch other people's nakedness in your home. You have encouraged the activity of spirit, of demons. It's a work of the flesh. This is what they produce. What about hatred? Then I like the way TLB put it. He said fighting. From today until Jesus comes, don't fight again. I will show you. Let's put Christianity aside. Is it because of church? Even outside church, you don't fight. I told you my experience. You know, when I was dealing with this Mr. Flesh, one day I was coming from, those days was fellowship. Then one commercial bus driver drove rough and do like, ah. When we got to travel, like I met him, I, I just did. Then I remember I was a pastor. So, ah. I felt very ashamed of myself. <laughs> so even if I'm cheated now, I'm not permitted to fight. Go back to that scripture. Some of you don't just do like this. <laughs> Fighting, jealousy, anger, constant effort to get the best for yourself. If there is a buffet, you take all the meat before other people come there. <laughs> it's a work of the flesh. <laughs> Constant effort to get the best for yourself. Complain. There are people who they, they are expert. PhD complain. Complain, 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 complain. Criticism. The feeling that everyone has is wrong except people in your little group. <laughs> and he said, and there will be wrong doctrine. Envy, murder, drunkenness, white party, house party inclusive. This is what I call August in the other place. Unpleasant thing. White sex. White party. Unrestricted. Life without restraint. On doing things that are not pleasant. Sleeping with dogs. Then you not kill yourself the following day. No. Wild parties. And he said, and all that sort of Things, let me tell you again, I have before, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. Can we see amplified finally on this subject matter before we pray? Is somebody getting something tonight? Yes, so, this is how to explain scripture. You compare different translation, you throw it open. Apart from what we have read in King James, can we say Amplified Classic uh, on this subject matter, then we pray. He said, now, the doing or the practice of the flesh are clear, obvious. And they are immorality, 
impurity, indecency. No, I can dress any way I like, oh, uh, anywhere, any, anyhow I like. Anybody that has a problem is the one that has a problem. I don't have a problem. You can't dress anyhow you like. There's something called decency. Can I hear amen? Yeah. Indecency is a, a fruit or a work, a practice of the flesh. Immoral, idolatry. I told you in the first service, you can't be coming to church and still be going to a witch doctor. So if the thing now become done, who are we going to give praise to? Shango or Jesus? When we used to be at Yaba, there is a church close to us. I don't know if you guys remember. They, did, they do three in one in that church. It's just behind Pie House. They say, shout hallelujah, eriwo uh, uh, Then they do Allah. You know, they do three in one in that church. Remember, you remember the church? Just behind Pie House. They, they will do Abalis. They will do Jesus. Then they will do Islam. When testimony comes, who do we give praise to? <laughs> Listen to me. God is not Wasobiao. <laughs> Only one God. Go back to that scripture. Amplify with where we are reading. Uh, where did we stop? Idol worship. Idolatry. Sorcery. Enmity. Strife. Jealousy. This jealousy is coming everywhere. Anger. There are people who are born again, but they are ill-tempered. If they get angry, they can throw a human being from a story building down. Say, so that's my weakness. Then after five minutes, they'll come back to their cell, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After you have thrown the person down, you say you are sorry. Say you are sorry. Selfishness. Division. Dissension. Oh, one best spirit. <laughs> it's not me that wrote it now. I mean, it's not the same scripture we are reading now. Where is it? Where is the scripture again? Can you read that statement? Party spirit. There are people, when they come to spiritual matter, they are very dull. But when they hear that there is oh, one best, they receive special energy for party. Party spirit. Show us the scripture. It's a fraction set with peculiar opinion and heresy. That's 21. Envy. Drunkenness. After reading this, why are you still drinking? It's a work of the flesh. Carousing. Whatever that means. <laughs> and anything like that. I warned you before, just like I did previously. Those who do this kind of thing will not inherit the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, these are the things we should deal with. But the problem are not the things I have read for you on the screen. The problem is flesh. This flesh now produces this. If you don't deal with flesh, when God promotes you, it's flesh that will manifest. And such individual will disgrace God. Because when you begin to shout, I manifest, we want to know, is it the spirit or the party spirit? I manifest, is it the spirit or the lost? The people, God, promoting them, they will become promiscuous. They will go wide. They will do things not convenient. They are workers, tongue-talking believers who are still engaged in wide party. Drunkenness. All manner of things not pleasant. These things we hinder the manifestation. It has hindered the manifestation of many. You married but you are still given to adultery. That's why you are not shining. Your strength, your
your glory has been taken from you. And this afternoon, God is saying to us, for us to get to that level of shining, of manifestation, we must deal with Mr. Flesh. Until flesh die, people can manifest. God's children can manifest. This is the reason why many have been in that for many years. And if by mistake, God decides to promote people who are in the flesh, what we sing, because it is always there, is flesh. Flesh we always sing. See how many times you have one prayer point, roll over, roll over, because you will not give up flesh. Whatever is secret, we read in good news, he said, in case in this list, you say, no, thank God, my own is not there. He said, if there is anything like that in your life, you must deal with it. For you to get to the level of manifestation we are talking about. So this morning, I'd like you to, to search your heart. This is why I said, you must be born again and remain so. Let everyone work out their salvation with fear and trembling. Every activity of Mr. Flesh. Listen to me. This flesh, it profit nothing. It will put anyone in trouble. And people have blasphemed the name of the Lord because of flesh. You will hear and they call themselves Christian. They call themselves pastor. They call themselves worker in the house of God. See, in the house of God, we have envy. We have jealousy. We have small, small group. You are always right. Every other person is wrong. You would like to criticize. There's nothing. You must kill the flesh. Nail it. Crucify it. And say, you're not going to put me in trouble. 
The glorious future that I am promised, I will fulfill it. I will get to my destination. There's a prophecy hanging on your head in the first service. I gave you three prophecies. Can you remember? One of them is that you will get to your destination. Go back to that good news translation now of that scripture. He said, those who belong to Christ have put to death their human nature with all its passion and desire. Two minutes, pray for yourself right now. Every, every desire of the flesh die today. I crucify you today. Somebody, I want you to pray passionately. This is a good start for the month of manifestation. Until we cross this altar of Mr. Flesh, we cannot begin to shout, I manifest. You are not manifestable until flesh die. Mortify the desire of the flesh now. Kill it. I wish you can pray. I wish you pray. I wish you are praying. I wish you are praying. Lord, have mercy on me. By the blood, have mercy. Pierce through me. Cleanse through me. Open me up, Lord. Every activity of the flesh must die. God, I want to use you, my dear. Kill the flesh. And the things like this. Things like this. Every oppression of the flesh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, open your eyes and listen to me. I don't want you to deceive yourself. Oh. This is a major ordo if we must manifest. When I went to London, I gave an example. I don't know if you've gone to watch the video. I told them, I said, two years ago, a lady came out in America and said, Samuel Poso slept with her. Did you follow the story? And she said she's pregnant. And she said she's not going to abort the pregnancy. Last month or two months ago, they did Samuel Posu's second year anniversary. She could take the money. After that episode, nobody heard about that lady again, and Samuel died. An agent on assignment. This is what flesh does to human. The flesh profits nothing. If you don't give up that thing, some of the things we read here today, it's going to kill you. The end is destruction. When sin mature, it becomes dead. You may look holy, have church dress, but you know this is not you. There's something in you that is not of God. If you don't kill that thing, it will kill you. Look at a great destiny like Samuel Posse. Quench by demonic agent. And she fizzled out. Nobody heard about her when the man died and after that story. That story just went like that. Nobody could forgive Sammy. He said he's stepping down of the full feet. The church can forgive her or God forgive him. There's something that wants to quench your light. Don't allow it. The ass head is going under the water small, small. Don't allow it. This money passionately from your heart. Cry, Lord, this, this, this lust will not kill me. This inordinate affection will not kill me. Liking what I should not like will not kill me. It is a cry. When you get home, go and do an explicit study, just like I've guided you in church today, using those translations I gave to you, and read Galatians 5. Also, the, the manifestation of the Spirit is there. But I need that to bring that out because we are laying the foundation for how to grow. You can't grow if flesh is still in place. You can't grow if envy is in place. You can't grow if jealousy is in place. You can't grow if murder is in place. You can't, you are not married. And you 
and your boyfriend, you are living together. This is why we don't have fire in our days. Sleeping in his house. One of two people who have joined this church, the moment we get to know such things and we correct them, some of them stop coming to church. Because the standard of the Lord will not be bent because of human error. This is why we don't have revival in the church. For, for those of us who are ready to go all the way with God, I'd like you to pray passionately. Lord, every act of the flesh. Anything that may want to destroy my future, I crucify you today. I bury you today. I put the axe to the root of the matter. The root of the matter is Mr. Flesh. I command you to die, you flesh. I, I crucify my body with Christ. Never the life I live. The life I live right now is the life of the Son of God who loved me gave himself for me. I crucify, I mortify my mortal bodies. I deal with this destructive habit. Can I tell you more things, sir? Can I tell you more things, ma? You know, flesh does not kill immediately. It kills small, small. You can be living in sin and be praying in tongues. Because the gift and the calling of God, they are without repentance. Something we do revival, do miracle, and go and sleep on the Lila lap. Then when they wake him up, he will still carry the gate of the city and do miracles and bring deliverance. But one day, the Bible says he shook himself like he has been shaking himself. But right now, the enemy have captured him. There is an intention of Satan to destroy someone who will not give up flesh today. I'm not just bringing you this message to make you cry, to make you feel bad. But this is the mind and the communication of the spirit. And the same pastor who has been giving you from part one to three prophecy. Now I'm telling you that the next level, if we are going to go deeper in growing in the spirit, this thing must die. We must deal with it. Selfishness must go. Envy must go. Barbiting must go. Creating group within the church must go. Kaba is high church. Every other person is wrong except the people, the little guys within your group. Manifestation of the flesh. Finally this morning I want you to cry to God. Lord, every demonstration of flesh in my life, I kill it today. I kill it today. I crucify it today. I mortify it today. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I won't preach this gospel and I will be a castaway. I kill you. Mr. Flesh, you are dead today. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Passionately pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray, pray, pray. Pray intensely. Pray intensely. Pray intensely this morning. Pray intensely this morning. Pray intensely this morning.